Yo guys, so today I'm back with another action figure review. As you can see, we're gonna be doing an unboxing of the Sonic Movie 2, Wave 2, um, movie supersonic figures. So here he is in the box. You know, you see he comes with that Master Emerald like in the movie. And then here's the information on the back. Powered by Emerald Energy, Supersonic is the ultimate hero. 13 points of articulation. And I got this guy at Walmart, as you can see. Um, so yeah, and he was the last one they had actually. So let's uh, start opening this box. So I have the scissor just in case I need to use it. You know what I'm saying? So we're just gonna, I'm not gonna keep this box, but we're just gonna start off here, right here. And we're gonna, um, hold on a second. We're gonna basically make a little incision right here, give me one. Second. Yeah. The boxes are thankfully not that hard to open, so once you make a little cut, you can basically use your finger and slice through this thing. You know, just be careful so you don't break the actual figure. Okay. Now we're gonna pull him out of the box. Right here. Okay. And now, what it seems like, it seems like, hold up, we got a little twisty tie right there. So, the box we're not gonna need, so let's put it over to the side. Slide that over there. Okay. Um, let's try to get the emerald out first. sealed in with anything. Okay, it's not, so. They really don't want anyone stealing this. Hold on a second. Finally, so here's the Master Emerald. Looks cool. You know, it looks very accurate to how it looks in the movie and kind of like how it does in the Sonic games itself. <sighs> now to get this guy out. You know, these are a little harder to get out than the, rather than the Five Nights at Freddy's movies. Sonic movies are like, Seems like he has some twisty ties holding him in right here. I think it's still more. Maybe I can. Hold on, so I'm just gonna cut this part. When I get him out of the box, then I'll uh, continue. So we're just gonna cut this part. Okay, I have finally got him out of this cage. <laughs> so we're gonna. Bro. So we're gonna now review him. So basically he's got, of course, 13 points of articulation. You can rotate the head, obviously back and forth, 360, but that'd be kind of creepy. So maybe don't do that. His head, Let's see if I can tighten this up. Cause as you see the ball joint right there, Let's see if I can push down on the head. Okay, so he's got head articulation. He's got a uh, wrist artic arm articulation. He can swivel there. His arm can go out like that you can um make his arm let's, let's suggest some things go up like this maybe have him grab something or hold something you know same with the other arm i don't have to show that with the other arm because it's the same thing the leg can bend hold up a second i wish i had a tripod i'm holding my phone camera with my other hand hold on 
one second. Yeah, okay, got that successfully. So he can bend at the knee, obviously. Okay, um, he doesn't have any um, torso articulation or, or waist articulation, but you know, it's pretty cool still. Now let's go over like the design of it. So honestly, this looks pretty cool. I mean, it looks like how Supersonic is supposed to look from the uh, games and things of that nature. And like some, I think that might be an item number or something like that, I don't know. And he has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. He has his seven quills, he has his three quills back here, he has his tail. And basically there's a variant of this figure that has green eyes, but I think eventually, of course, Jack Specific changed some things and gave him red eyes like he's supposed to have in the actual movie. But something I noticed is that on the muzzle, instead of it being like a peach orange, it's like a yellow color, like the paint may have bled in or there's a little bit of yellowing going on there. But most most of all, he looks pretty cool. Like I just stand up against the blender right there. So he looks pretty cool, you know. Uh, the emerald looks dope as well. You know, you can do that with that. Oh, let me see something. No, we're not gonna do that. But they really put a lot of detail into this Master Emerald, you know? You know, as you have it spin, like it was in the um, actual movie itself, it looks very, very, very accurate, you know? But um, if I was to rate this figure, I would say i give it like a solid mm, eight out of 10, okay? Because like I said, right here, it's supposed to be more white rather than orange, but that could be, mistake on mine or it could be like that on all of them i'm not exactly sure but for the most part he's a pretty solid figure you know he's good for like if you're gonna do stop motion videos or whatever or he's just gonna go up on your shelf in your collection you know but he's pretty he's a pretty nice uh, action figure you know so i want to see if i can get him to hold the master emerald hold up a second let me see if i can Put his arms out a little bit and then maybe have him uh hold it hold up um give me a second okay so i can't exactly have him hold it but we're just gonna pose him next to it it's gonna have him Looking down at it. Looking down at the thing, kind of. Oh. Kind of looking down at it, not really. It looks kind of derpy from this angle, but anyhow, um, on some more important stuff. So, personally, I think I'm gonna be taking a little bit of a YouTube break. Now, I know it's like, didn't I mention this crap before? Yeah, I did, but I wasn't sure then, okay? The reason being is because right now, honestly, I just want to focus on, like, more personal aspects and, like, like, focus on myself a bit and things of that nature. And I don't want to feel, like, stressed always having to upload to YouTube. And, like, I know it takes a lot of effort and things of that nature to, like, get to a thousand subscribers and stuff like that because i mean right now we like at what 320 so we got a long way to go but i'm thinking about maybe returning say january of next year 2023 i mean that's a little bit of quite a bit of time from now but not really when you think about it because that's like really two months from now because after this month you'd be in december and in january you know but i think it would be better just to take a break from it you know what i'm saying I also want to work on a little bit of an intro. So when I come back, I can start adding intros and other things to my YouTube videos, which that's just basic editing, you know, but I just want to break from YouTube. So people that are watching this, friends of mine who are watching this, I'm sure you understand where I'm coming from because every YouTuber 
no matter who it is, you can't tell me otherwise, needs or takes a break eventually. Even some of the most famous YouTubers out there, I won't mention any names, but if you know of some, you know they have to take breaks too. Everyone deserves some kind of break or hiatus, anything like that, you know? But I just wanted to say that in case anyone wonders um, why I haven't been uploading really or why I'm not gonna be uploading for a while, you know, this answers that question, basically. So, that's going to be all for this guy's review. I hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And bye.